we are divine. We have voices. We have many of us. Atamazulu, Sanbonan. That means, Sibaninzi apanga pagat. And we are, we are getting signals to directions that will hone us and mold us to build our models of development as ourselves because we are the human capital. We must recognize ourselves as the powerful human capital that has made the world to be what it is today. We are the ones who have made it possible for the world markets to trade in gold, in diamonds, and the food our stomachs still yearn. We are the inventors. So we must, these voices are linking us towards these people. About Anita Kachalia, about Helen Joseph, about Albertina Sisulu, Charlotte McClake, who is if her history is in Oxford University. As a yaingo wapu zalilwepi. Umire makeba ngubanu mama wake. Asi zaazi tinubasi ngome. Kanti, kusenu zibasi fuze umama kama umire ya makeba. Oka nyutata kama umire. Ota ika nyutato bao wake. In order for us to, to take, to position ourselves in a position of power and tell our stories. How are we going to continue this liberatory kind of path, right? Because what capitalism has done, it's made us think of success as a certain picture. Yeah. And when it makes us think of success as a certain picture, we lose the power to own ourselves and the kind of work that we do. We think for us to be really effective, we must be on TV, we must be getting lots of money and we lose the total mark of how I can be effective in my immediate community, in my space. And really, aligning is so important because I don't think any of us who's sitting here ever planned like to write books, to do this, to do that. It was just, it came from a place of, I just want to impact my society. Even Mama Winnie said that, Mama Nomza, she said, I don't care. Did I ever say I want to be elected as president? She said that, that, that to me does not matter because it's, a very, it's like a capitalist kind of thing. She said I was exactly where I belonged in the parliament of the people. The people know exactly who I am and they know the kind of work that we do together. The same thing that we have all come here because, you know, two women and their friends and their collective had a dream to say, one day we want to do this. And I don't think it just started Mauban. It started through collective kind of work. And I'm going to comment on this because my PhD is on the fourth industrial revolution. My PhD is on artificial intelligence, right? And what I always find as an academic, that the West has become so powerful in everything that we do, that even when we talk about development, we talk about it in Western terms. Yeah. We talk about, we need to now align with the fourth industrial revolution. We have an unemployment issue in our country. How do you align with machines that are going to take people's jobs when we have unemployment issues in our country? We constantly copy and paste from the West. The West has forgotten about cars, they're creating People, like they're creating ways for people to commute. We are only talking about we need to make cars. We need to make cars. Because we constantly use the Western narrative to think about development. And you're going to need a, 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 a people who use Mama Winnie's fire to say she was the only one who could shoot her hand up because she didn't worry about the Western narrative. She knew the kind of narrative that she needed alone to change society as we know it. And if all of us, have a we need multiplied, it means one, two, three, whether you're a man or you're a woman. It means that we have to find African ways. And when I say Africans, because we are on African soil, not this patriarchal Africa that we always think about, but because remote Africa, what works for us? What works for your community? 
when I go LinkedIn, can you get 10 children and start reading to them? Can you write plays? And even if you don't get funding from the government, can you try and find something that works to change those five children because you are at a certain place? So I'm really interested in how we can find home ground. Forget funding. Start writing your book. Just start writing it. Start writing your poetry. Start doing whatever that you need to do. Forget funding. Forget the government. Forget whatever, and just start saying, how can home ground, where I am, with what I have, how can I do? So I'm really interested in us talking about what it is that we are already, because sometimes, Malebu, PhD, what, who am I? So we need to talk to each other to say, what is it that you're doing? You might give someone an idea, you might, there might be issues of collaboration, I might hear your great idea and say, my sister, my brother, Let's collaborate. So, you know, that's that's where I, what I want to, as like, just trying to debrief from this. So, what are you doing? That's the question. Thank you so much. I repeat, <laughs> I've said this so often, and I wish uh, it could be realized all over South Africa. The future of the creative arts is in interdisciplinary collaboration. The future of the creative arts is in interdisciplinary collaboration. The future of the creative arts is in interdisciplinary collaboration. When we work together across boundaries and find ways of saying so and so is doing something, oh, what is that lady, young lady doing? I'm thinking, Plug in there. How can I be of assistance? How can she be of assistance? And you see somebody doing something, and then people sit there and they look. No, no, it's on. No, no, man. Who does she think she is? They look at you and they, they believe that you're going to fail. And the best revenge is success. When they think you're going to fail, you go ahead and succeed. When they told you this film is going to land you in trouble, did you stop? Did you stop? You had no choice. Once you start being on that journey, the best revenge is success. When people say you cannot do something, you go ahead and do it anyway. When we fought for freedom, there were times when you think, oh, see, I'm, hey, how long? But we didn't have a choice. There was, no, there was no reverse. We couldn't go backwards. We had to go forward. And the, the women we fought with, the men we fought with, who were amazing, who gave everything of themselves. When I saw him on television, or I saw him in the newspaper, oh my God, he's still alive. Thank God. When they did that thing that sponsored black on black violence, it was sponsored. They were paid to kill. You walk into a train, you're supposed to kill Tosa people. What do they look like? A train full of people going to Zola. You just come with a gun, da, 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 and you're killing crosses. And then another time, you're going to Sibu Gang, and you get into a train, da, 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 da. you shoot people, and you're killing Zulus. What do Zulus look like? If somebody walked in here now and said, I'm going to kill only Zulus, how many Zulus are in this, in this room? How many Zulus are in this room? One, one. So it was horrible, the, the sponsored so-called black-on-black violence. Yeah? It was sponsored, fully sponsored. They used to be paid. Kwazulu Natal, if you killed a teacher, you got more money. Killed a doctor, you killed a lawyer, you got more money. It was less money when you killed ordinary people. Yeah, but all of that, what has happened in the past, is continuing today, as you said. The narrative is different. We see it differently. We see so-and-so has done that. And also, with the way we are so obsessed with America, the way we are so obsessed with America, but it is the media that is feeding us. That which we see more often is that which we identify with. The one who controls the, the camera controls the mind. All the things that they are feeding young people. And we've got such an uphill battle to speak to young people, to share with them this thing. You see, last year, we did a seminar for the first time. A, a, a few days before the seminar, I thought, Ooh, black consciousness. Sure, what, what am I doing? But people were, were registering, people were coming to the seminar because I wanted to look at this thing of 
June 16 being deodorized by fucking perfume. But I get Youth Day. Youth Day, my foot. Youth Day. What Youth Day is that? People died on June 16. It's a commemoration, not Youth Bloody Day. And Shabville Day. But in Human Rights Day, fucking perfume, lap, toof, toof, toof. We don't want perfume. It is Shabville Day. That's what it is. We've got to reown our own history. And the people in these Azapos and, 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 and the Babafunama leaders, and as I 15, we, PAC, and what? What is their problem? Make up your mind. Are you in the PAC? Are you in Azapo? Are you in the what? Whatever organization you belong to, make up your mind and fight. Because the only thing we're doing, we're rebuilding South Africa. We are rebuilding South Africa. And we are in a place now, how many days before we vote? Oh, Mudim. Hey, can't we postpone it? <laughs> this time where we are, I think the creative arts are going to liberate South Africa in the future. So let, let, let's pull hmm? How do you pull a suit? Yeah, this is how we pull I don't know how you, what word you use. But um, lift up, you, you good, good, yeah, good yourself. Oh, ring? All right, pick up your socks. <laughs> That's good as well, yeah. So let, let's, let's wake up. Creative artists, we are the ones who are going to change the narrative in this country. It is not the people who are feeding at the trough <laughs> like pigs. It's not those pigs who are feeding at the trough. It is the creative arts who are supposed to make a difference. So the sooner we get that, the sooner we nourish one another, the better. Yeah. For everybody. Yeah. For everybody. Thank you. I feel like, you know, hearing about Umamawini, I... I, I I don't know, I feel like Osintiki summarized everything, really. Mm. I wish we had known about her story prior to her departure. I mean, okay, well, for me as a poet, rather, um, I was kind of ambushed into a performance this morning. However, I have plenty of work and a lot of material which I could have actually prepared in order to honor her memory and honor her um, as a whole and conclusive. However, it's sitting and listening and internalizing and growing that one gets to gain a certain perspective because it's through that reminiscing that it's going to somewhat ignite a certain change, ignite that spark within us to want to influence the next person, to want to influence your community, to want to influence South Africa. It starts with you. And I don't know, because I've been gathering a whole lot and one other thing that I can actually say is that you cannot necessarily give of yourself if you yourself are not whole yet. For as long as we are broken, you're going to break another human being. So it's, it's, it's a whole lot of thought processes. I'm writing a lot. I've been writing since morning. And half the time, trust me, it's not even what you are saying, but what I am you know, concluding from what each and every one of you is saying. And a whole lot of poetry is going to come out of it. Yeah. Um, not yeah. only that, I'm writing my anthology now. It's due to be published, but there's a whole lot of new poems now. And yeah. they, they need yeah. to be added in that. Yeah. Because that's stories that need to be told. Yeah. That's stories that a lot of people need to internalize and hear and grow from and heal from. Yeah. In order to make each and every one of us better. Yeah. So. Great. Yeah. Great. I'm just giving you warning. I'm coming there. Go ahead, my sister. Uh, good day. Uh, my name is Sizagele D, and I'm a choreographer from Bloemfontein. And I just want to say at the end of this day that I'm so undone that I feel I'm happy that I'm undone because I'm going to go home and it's going to take time to put myself together again, but in a whole new different way with a whole new different fire. Um, Carabello and Lewu, thank you so much for inviting me here. I feel like I'm just gonna um, Lewu and Carabello are two people that constantly show interest in my work, and I don't think I really got the magnitude of it up until today, that it's literally about empowering another woman and I was able to go to you to sit down and help me with applications with the NEC and a whole lot of things. I think, 
You people are just so amazing and so beautiful. And I want to thank you guys for identifying whatever you've identified in me that I'm going to go home now and look for as well and identify that and move from that power as well that you've recognized in me. I thank you for that sisterhood. And um, Mamutlina, when you spoke this morning, you spoke to me as a mother who needs to go home and, and, and look at different ways of how to raise her children, um, to be careful about the stories that I tell my children. I should tell them stories that will guide them in what they'll become and how they'll become as a woman of tomorrow, as a young Winnie of tomorrow, and a young man who will be deserving of a Winnie of tomorrow. And um, unfortunately, Mama Nap was not here. She also just did a lot for me. You, Mama, you spoke to me as a woman who's going through things in, in her relationship, and you've just empowered me so much to still stand and, 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 and continue my path. So um, just by being here today, um, the fire of Winnie has been re-invoked in so many ways. And when I am better as a woman, then I'm a better artist, I'm a better creator. And Mama Waruna, I, who I still want to grab and talk to with a fascination and in trauma and as a, so, um, a conscious creator, I just feel like after here today, it's a whole new world for me. Thank whole you so much. World. Thank you. Thank you. Man, it's a, a, a really role model in a, into the whole world. Yeah, it's a true role model in the whole world. So, to say that you will be more than that, I feel like you will put change into action. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Hey, I'm me. Dimela. Luisa Lakaki, refuel le siro mu ino. I'm a third year psychology student at the University of the Free State. So, my voice is loud and clear. Eh, I'll see oh. you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All along, I thought, Hori, being famous, wearing an expensive clothes, defines me. But now, I only learned that I have so much power to change that whatever I am, I can bring it out by just being me. Just be me, be yourself. Do not compare yourself with someone else or it's impossible. But only I learned now that you can write your own story that relates to us, Mama. So thank you, guys. Thank you for everything. Naki pesi na kwe telele mema dikzela mandela mani hahai mani. Reduce requalezwe moli hahai moli. Uno na li kliniki kante yama komoreiti. Ere hara nse ba na kliniki mo rifua di pempasi rifua maashi mo. Right. right. Jesus how to say in good of four Califulara, Kumo? Harry, my big thing. Maponisa did the hippo, didn't carry pizza to Samacaton. Ronar Salacatal. Winnie Mandela Tarari Hinja. Right. Maponisa va tava patrol a mo. Reducing a quetel and restrague la moly Winnie Mandela. Maponisa va light a stick some more loyan. Barrechesa va dira DH. D.H. Sayana, 
on a routé pétrole bom. Spring ball, le rekenya sticky samol, le rekenya grabo, le rekenya pétrole, le rilodi, c'est ça ma trois bateaux. Winnie Mandela. Qu'est-ce qu'il a fait l'amour?